On today's episode of The Plug, we're going to be checking out a bunch of new keycaps from my friends over at Razer, Taihao, HK Gaming, and Matrix Keyboards. We're also looking at some affordable, custom, handmade cable options from the team over at Asini, and we're going to talk about fitting those special layouts, those 65% boards, and the challenges associated with that, and why I've recently changed my keyboard recommendations. You ready? Let's go! Yo, I'm Brian P. You're watching Bad Seed Tech, and on today's episode of The Plug, we're looking at a bunch of different keycaps and a keyboard cable you're probably going to want to get your hands on pretty fast because they never stay in stock for very long. Opening things up here today, we're looking at some PBT aftermarket keycap options from Razer. I feel like all I ever do is praise Razer as of late, but again, what they offer here is great. These are double shot PBT aftermarket caps. They cost 30 bucks US. These are all double shot shine through PBT and they come in four different colors, black, mercury white, quartz pink, and razor green. They include everything you need to install on their traditional mechanical switches or their optical switches. They even include stabilizer parts for both. And they will cover razor US layouts or standard bottom row layouts. And they even include ISO keys for UK layout boards. The font here is the same thin shine through font that debuted on the Huntsman TE and it looks great. And because this is a 120 key set, you've got enough keys here to cover any keyboard they offer. So if you wanna replace your aging ABS keycaps or just spice up your new TE board, these are a great option. At this price, you can even mix and match. And because they're compatible with most layouts, you can even use these on your favorite 60% board. So like your Ducky 1 Too Many, your Ann Pro, or your GMMK. Only exclusions here would be the special layout on like the Mass Drop Alt, the Hades 68, or the Ducky 1 Too SF. They also quietly rolled out a couple new wrist rests for full-size boards. These are available in standard with a waterproof leather cover at $19.99 and in a pro version with cooling memory foam and a heat transfer fabric for $34.99. I always use a wrist rest and I'd really like to see them do these in a TKL size. Next up, we've got a set that generated a lot of controversy because people did not seem to be a fan of this cubic profile. These are called Avatar from Taihao. They come with three different styles of accents. This is the M3 set, so it has pink accents, and no two sets or even two keys are alike. These are double shot ABS. They're really thick, no flex, and they have a really slick feel to the touch. You're either gonna love or hate these, not only because of the profile, but also for the aesthetic in general. Let me know in the comments which way you land on these personally. After typing on these, I actually really like the profile. They've got a large surface area on top and the edges are really sharp and defined. The only thing about them is that the space bar sounds a little crazy to me. If I were to run these all the time, I would probably put some dampening foam inside that space bar. They do include some ISO layout keys, four blanks in row zero, four blanks in row four, a couple cherry compatible stepped caps lock keys, two 1.5 unit control and alt, a six unit and a seven unit space bar, and a 1.75 unit shift key as well for boards like the alt. That's a lot, it's like 123 keys. Unfortunately, you still run into row height issues with our 365% boards, the alt, the Hades, and the 1.2 SF. Starting to pick up on a running theme yet? You can grab these on mechanicalkeyboards.com or direct from Taihao for about 45 bucks. Next up is the latest pudding cap offering from the guys over at Matrix Keyboards who have also been on a real hot streak this year. If you need shine through PBT keycaps in some wild colorways, these are the guys to go see. So these are the cotton candy pudding caps. Somebody finally took the idea of the pudding cap and added some color to it. This is my favorite colorway in their solid caps and it looks really nice here as well with the translucent sides. And again, we see them offered in both flipped versions with one mainly blue with pink mods and the other mainly pink with blue mods. I do have to point out here because I got some feedback on the first Matrix keycaps video, there is a little color bleed in the legend depending on the color of the cap itself. So like a pink top will have a slight pink tint to the legend. These can be overpowered easily by whatever color LED you have under them though. These are really smooth to the touch as well, no grain or grit to these whatsoever. In terms of compatibility, these are gonna work with standard US ANSI layouts. Full size, TKL, and all your favorite 60% boards are covered. Matrix sets at this point don't include any additional compatibility keycaps, but they do have some of the better packaging out there. What, did you think I was going to say something weird there? Closing out here with the Chalk PBT Die Sublimination set from HK Gaming. That name may sound familiar because they worked with Durgod to produce the Hades 68 board, a board which I really praised, with the exception of the keycaps. 
These caps are thick PBT, non-backlit, and they've got a pretty nice aesthetic. Decent packaging as well, and they're normally priced at $49.99, but you may find a $10 off coupon if you go check them out. This set has 108 base keys and 31 additional keys for compatibility. I assumed, probably a poor move on my part, that these would also include caps to make this set 100% compatible with the Hades 68 board. Not quite. Yes, they have single unit keys for the bottom row and they have a 1.75U right shift, but they don't include proper row height keys for the far right column, which is really disappointing. I thought we had our first quality set of aftermarket caps here for the Hades, but not quite. So big warning if you happen to find these and you're looking at them specifically for that board, it's not 100%. Naturally, this means they won't be a good fit for the Alt or the 1-2-SF either, and that brings me to my closing point about keyboard layouts today. If you're one of those people who's content to use the keycaps that come with your keyboard, or you just wanna add like a couple colored accent keys, you don't wanna redo the whole thing, you can literally buy whatever board you want. But if you ever see yourself wanting to change to a completely all new keycap set, you really have two options here. You either get a standard 60% and you learn to live with however the arrows work on that board, or you go with a TKL, which is compatible with like everything out there, and you're just gonna sacrifice a little bit more space on your desktop, it's gonna be a little bigger, but it's also gonna offer a lot more functionality. If you want a standard US layout, MX compatible, 60%, TKL, or full-size board, you can basically get whatever keycap set you want, any of them, all of them. If you go with a specialized layout like Logitech or Corsair or a 65% board or any other specialty one-off layout like that, you're gonna severely impact your ability to pick aftermarket keycaps. Those dedicated arrow keys may be tempting, just know you're gonna really limit your ability to change that entire set out or you're gonna find yourself spending a lot more money to get a set that's gonna fit that layout. The Alt has very specific sets that work with it. The 1-2-SF has one set currently, and the Hades 68 has none. So you have to take that into consideration when you're shopping. Custom keyboard cables are usually guaranteed to come with two things, a really long wait time and a pretty high price tag. Ascini offers a cable setup priced at $26.99 that's a straight cable, no coils, because that's usually what affects the cost and the labor the most. You get a 5.8 foot straight cable that's sleeved in P ET. So you get this outer coating that's like a tech flex. It's just like a thicker, looser weave. You also get an aviator connector here because the cable comes with two different ends, one for mini USB and one for USB-C. So if you have multiple boards or you switch boards, you're good to go. But if you need micro USB, you'll have to score a cheap adapter. The aviator connector is silver. The ends of the cables are gold plated and you also score an adorable little animal that's cleanly impaled on the cable itself, which can be removed and humanely put down if that's not your thing. They also include a card inside to let you know that no one has licked this cable. What other manufacturer could say that? They currently come in three colors, white, like a deep rose pink, and aqua. And there may be a couple new colors coming as well with the recent drop. Hopefully by the time you see this, they'll be back on Amazon and you'll want to move fast because these sell out quick. I think that's going to do it for today's episode of The Plug. Links down below in the description for everything we talked about today. As always, any questions, hit me in the comments or drop by the Discord. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that sub button, and until next time, stay up.